Spider Gwen, let's go check out this new fan theory that I've heard about. Let's go. Spider Gwen is trans? Ha ha ha, what's up, danger? People online have been making the claim that Spider Gwen from across the Spider Verse is a transgender character. Well, I'm here to tell you that not only is she not a transgender character, but Spider Gwen isn't even allowed to be a transgender character. What do I mean by that? Well, let me explain. You see, back in the year 2015, a little website known as WikiLeaks leaked a contract that was made between Sony Studios and Marvel Studios. According to said contract between the two studios, there is a list of things that Peter Parker can and can't do. Among the many things that Spider-Man and Peter Parker weren't allowed to do was be a black person, be a smoker of cigarettes, and he had to be a heterosexual male. So he's not allowed to date transgender characters. What does that have to do with Gwen Stacy? Well, in the Amazing Spider-Man movies, Gwen Stacy is dating Peter Parker. And in those movies, she says that she's 17. And in America, you have to be 18 to get reassignment surgery. So if Gwen Stacy was born a dude, that means Peter Parker was kissing a dude and he's gay. And he's not allowed to be gay because of the contract. Therefore, Gwen Stacy can't be born a dude. Now I know what you're thinking. Could it be that the Gwen Stacy from Across the Spider-Verse was born a girl and the one in Into the Spider-Verse was born a boy? I mean, they're not technically the exact same Gwen Stacys. And to that I say no, because we see a shit ton of Spider-Men in both Into and Across the Spider-Verse, and none of them are gender-bendered versions of Peter Parker or Miles. Some of them have like, you know, an Aunt Bev who was shot, you know, they live with their uncle, uh, March, I don't know. They always have different origin stories, making it clear that they're a different character altogether. So if there's no girl Miles or Peters running around, I doubt there's a boy Gwen running around who would then later on get a sex change and become a broad. If you disagree with this because of all the quote unquote proof that's in Spider-Verse proving that she's transgender, let's break down that, that proof and prove how fucking silly that shit is. Her father wears a trans pride flag on his policeman uniform. Okay, okay fair enough. Well, I believe that on Earth-65, the Earth that Gwen's from, all policemen wear trans pride flags. You know, similar how policemen in the real world wear gay pride flags. It's just a slight difference. You see, the change of the LGBT pin is to show that you're in a different universe. Like how in Universe 1610, they have coca soda, but in Universe 616, they have Coca-Cola. Each universe has similar products, but slightly different. Another thing people want to point out is that she has a trans flag in her room that says protect trans kids. Okay, that's great guys. She's a superhero. She also has a BLM fist on her wall. Does that mean that Gwen Stacy's African American? Actually, comes to think of it, Miles also has a BLM pin on his backpack in his universe. Does that mean that George Floyd being murdered by a policeman was a canon event? Guys, she's a superhero, you know? She's clearly gonna want to help kids of all race and genders. Besides, her universe is made up of blue, white, and pink watercolors. So they're obviously gonna use any iconic image as decoration for that universe that is blue, pink, or white, i.e. the trans flag. Even the creator of Spider-Gwen said that she wasn't trans on his uh, Twitchy stream. Well, another thing people like to bring out is how Across the Spider-Verse was released on the first day of Pride Month. That's, that, that's the truth that makes it canon in everyone's head right there. Well, I got news for you guys. It actually wasn't released on the first day of Pride Month. It was released June 2nd, the second day of Pride Month, because May, June, July, and December are the most popular time to release movies. And Friday, everyone's going to the movies on Friday. The final piece of evidence proving that she's transgender, and I don't even really understand what this exactly means, but I've seen a few people say this, is that she dresses transgenderly, and like her hair is transgenderly. Well, her haircut she got from the first movie because of, you know, Miles' sticky fingers. She had to cut her hair out. And yeah, Gwen Stacy wears a skirt all the time, but like, okay, you know what? I'll give that one to you guys. That's fair. I think every single transgender person I met, boy to girl, ha wears a skirt. I think they're the, actually the only people who wear skirts, to be honest, past the age of 15. I'll give you guys that point. And like and subscribe so I can quit my fucking job and do this full time. All right. Thank you. Bye.